Oh boy. Well, here we are, folks. It is now time to start the Shadow of the Serpent Riders expansion for this Let's Play of Heretic. And boy, am I not looking forward to this. I mean, not that the expansion on the whole is bad. It's just that the first map of Episode 4 is a real fucking pain. And I really don't want to do it. But since I started this Let's Play, I got no choice but to complete it. Get me the hell out of here! Okay, enough fooling around. Let's go ahead and get started with Episode 4, The Ossuary, on Black Plague Difficulty. Okay, so, the first thing I want to do here is run right in here, grab this crossbow, and hide in here. Oh, and did you happen to hear that roar just a moment ago? That's the sound of a Molotor. That's right, a Molotor in the first fucking map of the episode. What a dick move, Raven Software. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why this map is so unforgiving. Because there's a Molotor, and there is very limited ammo here. I mean, ammo's not so bad since I'm playing on Black Plague difficulty, and I get more ammo for every ammo pickup. But still, I gotta be very wise with how I use my weapons here. And I wanna go ahead and grab the shield because it's gonna help out quite a lot here. Okay. Now, hi Ophidian. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right down here and run away because there's the Molotor. And here's some more gargoyles. Now, remember what I said in the first map of the previous episode about Black Plague difficulty having some advantages? With one of them being intentional infighting? Well, I can use the Molotor here to hit those Saber Claws and start some infighting. But he's already taken out a few uh, Saber Claws. He just took out a couple more right there! And he tried to launch one of them at my face. So yeah, even though there is a Molotor here, you can use him to take out some of the enemies here. And I'm going to try my best to try to take out these gargoyles while avoiding the Molotor. More specifically, just the fire gargoyles. There's one, and there's the other one right here. Keep an eye out for that Molotor. I bet he's right over here. Yep, there he is. Okay. No, get out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm using the wand instead of the crossbow because I'm gonna need the crossbow for later. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need the uh, the crossbow for later. All right, now that I got the yellow key, we can watch out for the fire. Watch out for the fire. Watch out for the fire. No, get out of the way. Okay. Yeah, do me a favor and take out the. Uh... Oh, take out the gargoyle. Hard for me to know. I think he's focused on those Ophidians in that room. Okay, let's hide in here now. Okay. I don't think the Molotor will be able to follow me in here, so let's just go through the teleporter. And start smacking these gargoyles. Yeah, you gotta have a, a good strategy when going into this map, because, like I said, ammo scarcity is a thing here. But, believe it or not, I have not done a practice run of this map because, by God, I hate this map so much. Oh, can I telefrag? Nope, 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 nope. I just missed that Ophidian. Well, let's see if I can bring them over to the Crushers. Nope, they're just going around it. That's okay. I got plenty of crossbow. Oh, I can push them into the crushers. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Looks like I got a new strategy here. Oh, he's behind me. Yep. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, go under the crusher. Yes, there we go. One more, and dead. Oh, grab the flame orb. I will be needing that. And that one Ophidian still up there. Okay, well, I got the yellow key, so we can go in here now and take care of some more gargoyles and uh, saber claws. And by the way, I apologize if my commentary is going to be a bit lacking. I'm just focusing for the most part on what to do here. Let's see, none of you are fire gargoyles, are you? Well, that one is. Oh! Got those two to end fight. But I'm going to try to take care of the fire gargoyle myself. There we go. Now for you. Bingo. Alright. Whoa! Hello! I can go ahead and take down these guys with a crossbow. No problem. Yeah, when you're going through this map, make sure you keep your eyes on the ammo count. Because... There may come a point where you'll be attacking enemies and then all of a sudden you run out of ammo and you're like, oh crap! And you could end up getting uh, cornered while switching weapons. And trust me, you do not want that to happen. Okay, so there are two passages open. Um, let's go in here first, because if I recall correctly, there's some uh, items in here that I want to pick up that could be quite useful. Okay, there's a course flask, but there's also some time bombs, if I recall correctly. Yep, there we go. Yeah, these are going to help out quite a lot. Okay, um, can you please not lag, game? Okay. Now, for this part, how am I going to go about here? Um, you know what? I'll just drop right down. Try to knock these saber claws away from me with a crossbow. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, let's bring the other saber claws over here, one at a time. There we go. One more. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and start raising these stairs so that we can go up and grab the gauntlets. Zappity zap zap! Oh! And here are the, uh, disciples. Go and use the couple of time bombs. That hurts. And I know I got a morph of them in my inventory, but I'm going to save that for later. I can take care of these guys without much of a problem. Go ahead and start using the wand on them. Try to save up on arrows. There we go. Is that all of them? It looked like it. Okay, now let's pick up the arrow. Lay down some more time bombs. I got one of the disciples with the time bombs. Alright, there we go. So far, so good. Alright, now we got some saber claws. Go use the gauntlets on them. Wow, that actually hurts. Okay, well, um... Looks like we have to use the quick zap. Alright, we know. Yeah, the gauntlets are actually pulling me toward the saber claws, and they don't get stunned that easily. Anyway, here's the first secret of the map, and we got some more gargoyles to deal with. Oh, you know what? Here. All right. Um, let's see, where do I need to go next? Oh yes, I gotta flip this switch to open that up. I'm gonna pick up this crystal vial. And there's a teleporter here, and this is where I'm gonna use the morph of them. Right here! 
<laughs> yeah, best to use it on these Ophidians because they take quite a lot of shots to take out. One more. There we go. Okay, let's pick up the Tome of Power. And now for the next secret, right between these two dangling skulls, the teleporter that will take me to a Chaos Device and some Dragon Claw ammo. And I will be getting the Dragon Claw shortly once I run right through here. Okay. Couldn't take you out. Okay. Alright, now let's go back in here. Head on over this way. And here we go. We now got the Dragon Claw. And let's drop right down for the green key. And we got more Ophidian to take care of. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. They are murdering me. Yeah, like I said, I did not do a practice run of this level, so... I don't have a clear strategy going in here. Okay, where is the last one? Okay, I guess I got all of them. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I think now would be a good time to take care of the Molotor here. So, I'm going to do a neat little trick against the Molotor here that involves the Gauntlet and the Tome of Power. So, before I go out there, I'm going to go ahead and quick save. Just in case I mess this up. And let's drop right down. Now, here's the trick with the Gauntlet against the Molotor. You can use the Tome of Power to turn the Gauntlet into a Life Leash. But you have to time it right, because you have just enough time to take out the Molotor with the Life Leash with the Molotor at full, house, uh, full health. Let's go! Yeah, as I'm zapping him, my health is constantly going up to 100. And when you're up close to the Molotor, all he can do to you is smack you with his hammer. You will take damage, but as long as you're zapping him, you'll continuously regenerate your health. And make sure that there's no other enemies in the area, because they can do additional damage to you while you're zapping this Molotor. Alright, you should be almost dead by now. There we go, just like that. Taken care of. And I got a Mystic Urn out of it. Thank fucking God. I am really gonna need that. Okay, so, now that we have the green key, we can go in here. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Yeah, it's always a good idea to uh, quick save when you're going through this map. Because something can go wrong very easily. Okay. Now for this gargoyle. Ow. And I know the health staff is right there, but I want to take care of the gargoyles first. Because as soon as I grab that health staff, a bunch of doors are going to open and unleash a bunch of saber claws, if I remember correctly. There we go. Alright, now let's open the door. Grab the health staff. And... Nothing happened. Okay. I... I honestly thought those doors would open and release those saber claws. Perhaps I remembered incorrectly. Okay, well, I'm not complaining. Okay. I guess I have to open one of these doors manually, or... Oh, yep, here we go. Okay, that's only one Saber Claw. I can take him out easily. And, of course, he drops Health Dap Ammo upon death. Okay, here are the other Saber Claws. And I can use the Health Dap on them, because they usually drop Health Dap runes upon death. Alright, now for these two. Oh, and by the way, I hope you 
you guys don't hear any uh, blowing into the microphone, I have my overhead fan turned on high here. And hopefully the microphone's not picking the, picking up the sound of it blowing into the microphone. Alright, flipping that switch, we'll open this teleporter and also reveal an iron lich! Whoa! That was close. Okay. Oh god, not the tornadoes. Not the tornadoes! No! Okay, it's gone. Whoa. Good thing that door closed in time. <laughs> oh god. No, you stay away from me. Okay, just disappeared after it barely touched me. Whoa. Oh, I got him. Cool. Okay, just shot straight down to the ground and disappeared. That's not how... Uh, ow! <laughs> Random tornado up the butt. I was just gonna say, that's not how tornadoes work. They don't just shoot to the ground and disappear suddenly. Um, there's probably a ring around here. Yep, there it is. Uh, two teleporters. Um, oh yeah, there's those alcoves with those ophidians. Well, as soon as I teleport through here, I'll be picking up that ring and using it. Like so. Oh, I just teleported one of the ophidians. <laughs> and this right here is the final secret. Let's see if I can take out all these Ophidians quickly before my ring expires. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh crap, my ring's ringing out. Chaos device highlighted. Can I take out these last two Ophidians? There we go. Okay, that's them taken care of. And now, where did this take me? Yeah, it takes me back here. Because reasons. Alright, now for the final part, I'm going to quick save one last time. Uh, let's go ahead and step inside. And see what's down this pit. More iron liches! And I am so glad that tornado did not knock me into that pit. Because that would have been a nightmare. Okay, those iron lichers are coming up out of that pit. Um, I have my, I have the chaos device highlighted. Oh shit. I'm almost out of uh, health dap ammo. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to rely on the dragon claw here. And I think there's like four iron liches over there to take care of. But yeah, once I take care of them, then all that will be left will be a couple of saber claws, and that's it. Then I can finally, ow, leave this level. Alright, I'm gonna use the mythic urn here. Whoa, careful. They're getting closer to the door. Oh, I can actually put them back a bit with my Dragon Claw. Okay. That'll help out. That'll help out a bit here. Okay, there's one. Stop shooting your fire at me. I can't see you. And the tornadoes aren't helping either. Okay, that's better. All right. Ow. Okay, that's two. And again, I'm so sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just trying to focus here. It's a life and death situation here. Or life or death, if you will. Okay. Now, I'm going to wait a bit for the tornado to go away. And take care of the last iron lich here. Ow. Did I get him? Nope. God, I can't see. There are too many tornadoes. I can't see anything. 
Okay, got him. Okay, um, I'm gonna run around for a bit here, see if I can find any health. I, I think I might have picked up all the health items. If I had, then I'm in a bit of a pickle here. None over here, none over here. Okay, I got some ammo for my health staff, so that's something. Um, are there any crystal vials left in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I'm stuck with- Oh, there's a quartz flask here. Okay, thank god. Now for the last two enemies, there's just a couple of saber claws. No big deal. And there we go. Everyone dead. All the secrets been found. All the items been collected. And there's the exit. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> okay. There we go. That was the first map of Episode 4. The Catafalc. Oh, man. I am so glad this map is over. I feel like a heavy weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Whew. Okay, so, we're all done with the most difficult map of the episode. From this point on, everything sh should not be as difficult. So, I'll see you guys next time in the second map of this episode. The Blockhouse. Catch you guys later.